Merry Christmas everyone, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, you heard that correctly. It may be fall outside, it may be fall according to the calendar, it may be fall behind me, but I have eight of the 14 brand new Kringle candles that are coming out for Christmas today, Friday, October 8th at around 9 a.m. Eastern Time. and. I have a lot of thoughts, so let's get into it. I know it seems crazy that I already have Christmas candles, but the Bath & Body Works floor set is on the 17th of October. It's coming up before we know it, and you know retail, candles always come earlier than the holiday. And Kringle sent me eight of the 14 candles that are launching on today, on today on today for their holiday collection. Now, obviously, I was sent these to review. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, and I will leave my link, which is D.S. Yock, which is my name, down below for 15% off your Christmas candle purchase or any candle purchases. Now, I do want to say one thing about the promo code. Even when the things are on sale, you get the sale. Only that works with ambassador codes. So that's super exciting too. If you find like a random code floating online, you can't use it with sale items, but my code you can. That's why you shop with me for Kringle Candle. Now, I've been promoting honesty, integrity, talking about the real real when it comes to reviews. And even though these were sent to me for free, I'm still going to be real and honest. And starting with honesty, Kringle has two different lines of candles. The Country Candle line and the Kringle Candle line. I'm not the biggest fan of the Country Candle line. I'll be honest, I don't like the Country Candle line. I like the Kringle Candle line. They only sent me one of the Country Candles, and they did send me all of the Kringle, of the classic Kringle Candles. And the reason why I don't like these, I just find that they're a little bit drafty with the flame. It never really stays still. I don't find that issue with the Kringle candles as much. And I just love the classic white wax. I love the shape. I love that they're easier to store with the flat lids. Same reason why I didn't like the Yankee candles in the same jar. I just don't like them. But I do have one of the candles and it is Midnight Snow. Beautiful label and has like gold snowflakes on there. Interesting choice in wax. It is uh, brown wax and it is two wicks paraffin wax and I do have the notes on this one and midnight snow reads enjoy the quiet of the midnight snow ozone fresh spearmint envelops evergreens and peppercorn with spicy citrus on verdant moss and sweet musk so the first thing I smell spearmint gum but it's not super dominant and super heavy like you would think in spearmint gum. It's very crisp and cool. You get that outdoorsiness. You get a little bit of green, like I can smell the moss in here. It's like you walked outside on a really, really crisp snowfall day. It's not my favorite out of the batch, but it's good. I definitely think it hits the mark when it's super cold out. You want that little bit of freshness in your house. It's very, very bright and crisp with that spearmint. Now on to the Kringle candles. I'm actually going to go in alphabetical order, or not in alphabetical order, as they are listed here on my paper. And the first one is Orum and Evergreen. I think that's how you say it. A-U-R-U-M. And it has these beautiful little gold slash silver like um, ball ornaments and these are the 2x now I will say going forward all the Kringle candle classic candles are available in the well they're available they're all the only way they are is in a hundred percent soy wax now I know there's been some confusion about soy wax and doesn't throw as well they have worked on this formula for a while to perfect it I've been burning a few of my Halloween candles which are also the soy blend or the soy wax Oh my god, they're amazing. I have a whole Halloween video that I plan on posting. The thing is, they're not available anymore anyway, so there's no real reason for me to post it earlier. So it's actually going to go up on actual Halloween. It's like a little spooky join Halloween video. So that's my Halloween video. But because next year they might be available. 
So anyway, Orem and Evergreen. This one says, festively blended with pink grapefruit and apple, infused with pomegranate and cinnamon leaf. Orem and Evergreen is a noble scent with ribbons of vanilla snow and Siberian fur. So we have grapefruit, cinnamon, pomegranate, vanilla snow, and Siberian fur. I really like this. I get a little bit of a boozy note. I'm not sure. It's not really listed in here. It says apple infused with pomegranate and cinnamon leaf. So I'm sort of getting like an apple, like an apple brandy or like a, a warm apple alcoholic drink with this. Ooh, and that Siberian fur is really nice. You can pick up on the vanilla. To me, this is, if you're not a huge fan of like Christmas tree scents, this is a good one. There's the grapefruit, the pomegranate, and the apple blended together. It's almost like you're making this beautiful Christmas punch of all these warm fruits, and you added like a sprig of, like, well, evergreen, like a sprig of a Christmas tree. So you don't have a super heavy pine or green note in here. You have a very, like, warm, fruity scent. And then the cinnamon is just there as like a cinnamon leaf. It's like a very green cinnamon. It's really, really pretty. I think that will be a good one when it's snowing out and you just want like a great like uh, white Christmas movie or um, you know, white Christmas miracle on 34th street, like a classic Christmas movie lighting that candle. It's beautiful. This one, I think I was the most intrigued by. Christmas coal. Okay, for one, the beautiful metallic red label and the Christmas coal. And this one says, someone's misbehaving or on the naughty list. A gift of musky Christmas coal with orange oriental spices, florals, and patchouli is bittersweet. So it's interesting. Orange, spices, florals, and patchouli. This one's very light. I'll be honest, it's a very light scent. I don't really smell patchouli like when I think of patchouli I think of the Renaissance Festival and the Renaissance Festival is actually going on here in Pittsburgh right now so it's just very like nostalgic but I don't get a ton of patchouli like that Renaissance patchouli I get more of like a high-end patchouli I might rub the top of this candle because I'm not getting a ton from it just a very light citrusy patchouli that's really all I'm getting from it I can't give much more I'm not getting much from it but for me, this is going to be like a candle that I think I actually want to get like a piece of fake coal and put it around the candle. I just think it would be so, so cute. And I, I love the packaging, but it's a very light citrusy patchouli. Not my favorite. <sighs> Christmas cookie dough. There's two favorites, and this is one of them. This is savor and enjoy the creamy butter, brown sugar, and vanilla blended in sweet harmony to make Christmas cookie dough a true holiday favorite. So we have a rolling pin, cookie cutters, cookie dough, really pretty label. And I was, at first, I thought, you know, chocolate chip cookie dough. No, okay. This scent reminds me of your making just the best cookie dough and they're laid out on the pan and like you smell your hands when you're making the cookie dough and it just smells like or you're making the cookies and it smells like that dough remnants the brown sugar the butter the vanilla this is so nice and obviously I compare a lot to Bath and Body Works candles they're the most readily available people know them this does not smell like Vanilla Bean Noel. This does not smell like Christmas cookie or Merry cookie. This smells like a true, rich, buttery cookie. I cannot wait to burn this one because, oh, I think it smells so good. And I love, like, the imperfections in the soy wax. I think it's really fun. But that scent, chef's kiss. Then we have Deck the Halls. If this doesn't scream like classic Christmas, I don't know what does. You have a big red ornament here, a blurred out background of a Christmas tree. I love when you take a photo in like portrait mode of a Christmas tree and the lights and stuff all blur out. I think that's beautiful. And Deck the Hall says, Deck the halls this season with the warm and comforting aromas of cinnamon stick, melted with creamy tonka, tangy and spicy cloves, sugared almonds, and smooth amber. clove and almond. It's really crazy. 
I pick up on the almond. It's not like those almonds that you get at the mall that are like um, the sweet, buttery, cinnamon sugar coated almonds. This is like a roasty, toasty almond. And clove. This is really, really just comforting and cozy is the best way to describe it. It's really nice. I really like how the almond isn't like a traditional, like a, like I said, a to uh, nutty, buttery, sugary almond. It's that toasty almond and a little bit of clove. I don't smell much amber. It's really nice. Cinnamon, yeah, like cinnamon and clove. And then tonka bean, I think, really just blends this and rounds this out. But love this scent, you guys. Love that scent. Next, mm. next, let's talk white chocolate chai. White chocolate chai says, infused with layers of nutmeg, clove, and smooth caramel, frothed milk and sweet cream make this a delis delicious, delightful, lasting finish. So it's like a little chai tea latte. I, okay, so I'll tell you a little background story. When I was craving a pumpkin spice latte, but they weren't coming out for a couple more weeks, I looked online at getting like a chai tea, like an iced chai tea latte, and I put the brown sugar syrup, I think, uh, this is my syrup, the brown sugar syrup, mixed in with it, and it was like the best fall drink, even though it was still like 100 degrees outside. And that's what this smells like. Like, the chai tea has a very distinct I say warm and cozy, but a very warm and cozy, comforting scent. If you know chai tea, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and that's distinctive right away. As far as white chocolate goes, it does not smell like chocolate, so if you're not a huge chocolate fan, you're still going to like this, because it just makes it a little bit more sweet and decadent. I think if you're a bakery lover, you'll like this, because it has that warmth to it, that sweetness, that coziness to it. Oh, it's really, really nice. And it's not your traditional, like, coffee scent. I think this is one of the most unique scents out of this lineup because you're so used to, like, coffee. Like, you don't really smell many chai can, let alone white chocolate chai. It's a really unique scent. Then we have Juniper and Laurel. Some interesting names. A Laurel. I don't really know what a Laurel is, but it's a beautiful wreath here and there's like snow cranberries or says hall holly berries and little snow covered pine cones a wonderful bright scent juniper and laurel is cool and collected with eucalyptus silver spruce white juniper crisp woody notes of cedar pine cone and patchouli another patchouli scent that you don't smell to me this is the most traditional christmas candle this smells like a traditional like balsam and cedar, fresh balsam, evergreen, like, I understand it says juniper, and to me, when I smell juniper, I get sweet, so this to me is like a sweet Christmas tree scent, but not like spruce sweet. I think juniper, it's like evergreen, like pine, juniper, and spruce as far as like how the sweetness goes, I think it's in the middle, so if you like those traditional Christmas Christmas tree type of scents. I think you'll like this one. I don't have much to say because I'm not the best at describing Christmas tree scents. I feel like they all kind of smell the same, but I can tell you it's a little bit sweeter. I smell no patchouli in here at all. You might, it might come out when it's warm, but I don't think I, I really can't detect it at all. Like if I looked at this without the description, I would never think there was patchouli in it. A really nice Christmas tree. You guys, my other favorite. Holiday pop. For one, I'm from Pittsburgh. We say pop. Leave a comment down below. Is it pop? Is it soda? What do you call it? It's pop here, and it says pop. And this looks like the most delicious drink. It's orange. It's an orange drink. There's oranges. There's sprigs in there. There's a spoon. There's a shaker. Like, a beautiful label. And the notes. A yuletide blend of sparkling citrus. Holiday pop is garnished with crimson cranberries, tart cassis, hints of winter rose, and sugared amber. All right. You guys, this is so good. This smells like... What's the, what's the name of that? 
Do you remember Starbucks used to have a Valencia orange refresher? That smells like this if it was warm. I love that drink. I love citrusy drinks. I think they're so refreshing. And even though that was like a summery drink, this is a Christmas candle. You can smell a little bit of bubbly, a little bit of effervescence. You smell the cranberry in there too. It definitely adds the tartness to it. Like that zing that you want, but it's a warm zing. If it could be, if you could have a zing be warm. It's a warm zing. It's so pretty. I love this scent. This to me, out of all of them, is your company scent. If you have people coming over just for a holiday cocktail party, or say you, the kids are going away, going away, going the, to grandma's, and everybody's coming over for just a holiday nightcap, and this is the scent you'd be burning. Everybody who walks into your house and they smell, be like, it smells really good in here, but it doesn't smell like a traditional Christmas candle. I love non-traditional Christmas candles. I think that's what sets everybody's nose apart. Everybody has the scent they love for Christmas. For me, it's not pine. To me, it's not anything like that. Cinnamon stick, to me, I love the most unique holiday candles. And this, to me, is the most unique holiday candle. It's like a warm, orange, zippy cranberry, delicious punch. Love this. So, those were the eight candles to review. We'll go over them again really quick. So we have Midnight Snow in the Country Candle Line. We have Orem and Evergreen. Deck the Halls. Ever Juniper and Laurel. Holiday Pop. White Chocolate Chai. Christmas Coal and Christmas cookie dough. So, let me know if you guys are trying these candles. Again, I was sent these to review, and those are my honest opinions. Look for me in my empties videos that I'm doing now, I call them trash talk, where I burn the candles and talk about them to review. I alternate between burning candles and melting all the time, and I'm super excited to put these away and let them cure for just a little bit, just because they're freshly poured, and I want them to be the best for Christmas. Let me know what you guys try. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!